Hi everyone! Today is the last day in July, so this is the last of my Christmas in July projects. Um, I had a lot of fun making these layouts and cards over the last couple weeks, and thank you for your patience and sticking with me. I know a lot of y'all think it's way too early for Christmas, but I really enjoyed getting a few things made ahead of time, and it was nice to just be able to do so without all of the normal stress that usually comes with the craziness of the holidays. So this is going to be a two-page layout. And I am using the Old World, Old World Winter Stack by the Paper Studio. So I'm starting out with this beautiful piece of um, music paper themed uh, scrapbook paper. And I have cut it down 11 and a half inches by 11 inches. I'm going to adhere that to a piece of white cardstock that is um, 11, let's see, 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and a half. And then the brown cardstock is 12 by 12. And you could use um, craft, star craft cardstock behind this if you wanted to. Um, I just wanted the dark brown because I wanted to bring a little bit of like a richer color palette to it. Especially because I have so many of the neutrals with like the music paper and stuff. And I have some border pieces. I have this red cardstock. This is one and a half inches. And it's a little bit longer than my layout because um, I just cut it straight off of the 12 by 12 piece of paper. But I'm going to adhere it first and then trim my edges down. And this is all from that same uh, paper stack. I'm just going to um, adhere it flush to the edges. And I have a border piece for the top of my layout. Um, this is one and a half inches as well, so it's the same size. And then I took a couple of these top note shapes in my uh, silhouette uh, studio and I just kind of welded three of them together and made a border. You could use any sort of border punch or uh, if you have a border cut in your silhouette. So I just wanted it to have more of like a chunky scalloped feel to it. And I'm going to adhere this right up top. take my paper trimmer and I'm just going to trim off the edges of my layout so that everything lines up and is flush. And I have a couple of thicknesses of paper here so I'm just going to go over it a couple of times to make sure that it all comes off. You see now we have that really nice flush edge. And I'm going to take my ink sponge and just go over the red pieces. Just because I don't want that white core showing through. So now I have the two pieces of my layout. This is going to be the base. Um, I'm going to have three photo mats. I have uh, two 4x4 photo mats. 
So the photo is going to be four, 4 inches by 4 inches, the white cardstock is 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, and the brown cardstock is 4 and a half by 4 and a half. Then I have one over here that is 4 by 6. So this is four inch, uh, 6 inches by 4 inches, the white cardstock is 6 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, and the brown is 6 and a half by 4 and a half. So I'm going to start laying out all of my die cuts. Um, all of these are from Treasure Box, De Treasure Box Designs, and they are from the Twas the Night Before Christmas paper piecing set. I have, um, actually no, I'm sorry, I have two paper piecing files. These are from the Treasure Box Designs furniture set. So I have my couch and chair, and they're cut out of this really cute plaid. Um, my parents actually had a red and green plaid sofa set when I was growing up, which they later gifted to my husband and I. But it looked almost exactly like this, and when I showed these to my husband, he was like, oh my god, it's your parents' uh, couch and, and chair set. <laughs> which I thought was really funny. Um, I have the little fireplace. We've got our little mouse here. He's got some stockings. And as you can see, it's kind of a tight fit, which is why I'm laying it all out before I do anything. I have my moose, and he's actually going to peek out over the couch. I have the stairwell and the Christmas tree. And my favorite part, I have this little girl. She is in bed, and she is anxiously waiting for Santa to come. And a little nightstand. And then I created a title in um, in my Silhouette Studio. So I took the Santa sleigh font, and I wrote out "Twas the night before Christmas." And I, what I did is I wrote out "Twas the night," and then I did it length. Um, I think I did eleven and a quarter of an inches in length, and then I did the same over here. That way, it would fit within my um, within the top part of my layout. So now that I have everything placed, I can go ahead and start adhering my pieces. Um, I have another border piece that's one and a half inches by seven inches, and I'm actually going to put it right about here on my layout because I want the bed to have something to adhere to. I don't want it to look like it's just floating in space. So I'm going to adhere that first. So I'm just going to adhere it um, right to the edge. And then I can adhere my photo mats around it. And I'm just going to line the edge of this photo mat up on the edge of the border. Next I'm going to adhere my title. And I'm kind of, I kind of want the bottom of my letters to be on the edge of my uh, red border piece. So some of them, you know, will hang down because they hang a little bit lower. But just the majority of the letters I'm going to line up on the red cardstock.
Uh, now, my bed, I have a lot of layers of foam, so I have like the blanket popped up, um, I have the uh, footboard popped up, so I'm going to adhere it flat, because it's already um, pretty much two layers of foam, and I don't want it too chunky. So I'm going to adhere this right over here. And I'm going to adhere the nightstand uh, flat because I want it to be like kind of on the same level as the bed. And some of my legs are a little bit wobbly, so I'm going to fix them right now while I'm adhering uh, the whole thing to the to the layout. Now I'm going to adhere my stairwell and I have that on one thickness of foam. So I'm going to come over here, move most of this off of here. I'm going to go ahead and do my title first because I want to make sure that it lines up with the title on my other page and then I'll uh, adhere things around it. And now I'm going to adhere my photo mat. Okay, I am back. My camera actually died halfway through, so I had to go recharge it really quickly. Um, so we've got all of our photo mats done, and now we're going to adhere the rest of our die cuts. So first I'm going to adhere my uh, fireplace, and I'm going to adhere that flat because like my bed, I have a lot of things like the ledge of the fireplace and the stockings, I have those popped up on foam. So I just don't want it to be too bulky. And I'm going to adhere it over here on the edge. And I have this extra um, stocking. And now I'm going to adhere down my couch and my chair. And these are also popped up on um, a couple thicknesses of foam. So like the back is on one thickness, um, the seat is on another. So all together it's about two thicknesses of foam. And before this dries all the way, I'm going to take my, my mousse. And I'm actually going to tuck him in behind the couch like he is peeking up out of it. And I'm going to adhere his hands on top of it like he's got his hands on the couch. And 
and then finally um, my chair will go right in the corner. And then I have my Santa Claus who is peeking inside the window. And I have a back piece underneath of the window, but the window and the curtains and everything are popped up on one thickness of foam, so there's some dimension there. I'm going to place this right about here. And that is about even with these pieces right here, so it all kind of flows together. So that is my completed uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas layout. Um, once again, the uh, bed and the tree and the stairwell and the window and the moose and the fireplace, these are all from the Treasure Box Designs um, Twas the Night Before Christmas paper piecing set. And then the couch and the chair and I believe the nightstand were all from the furniture collection, which is also by uh, Treasure Box Designs. So um, this is, like I said, the last of my Christmas projects in July, and I will probably not do any more Christmas projects until after Thanksgiving. Um, but I really enjoyed this series, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.